Caner Universe, welcome. Another edition of Caner Tip Tuesday, and we are in the American Cane Boxing Series. And welcome to those of you that are here for the first time, as well as our loyal following the troop of the Cane Fist. Um, before I forget, hit the subscribe button so you don't forget and, and miss out on anything and hit the bell icon. That way you're notified every time we post on this exciting series and everything else that we have in store for you. American Cane Boxing, today we're covering three close quarter applications using the new 32. That is specifically, it's cane that is specifically, look for the reveal uh, video this week as well where I go into the details of the tool itself. Uh, in a nutshell, it is a shorter, easier to maneuver uh, uh, cane. And let's take a look at the advantages of doing something like that and how effective it can be uh, for close quarters here. So the way that we like to demonstrate this with uh, American Cane Boxing and our curriculums in general is we take you through a walkthrough. And that's one of the ways that instructors can demonstrate how easy it is to communicate an application so that if your audience is looking at this and they're going, wow, um, you're really talented, really trained. I don't know if I can do that. Well, the shadow boxing, uh, when you go through, through the movements, well, if you can do this application and, and you see the walkthrough of it, they register and they say, okay, that's not that difficult to do. And then you can actually go ahead and they can uh, uh, practice it. This one in particular, we're showing applications with two hands on the cane. And I know that there's a lot of you watching that you're big proponents of having two uh, hands on your cane. You're really gonna like the uh, cane boxing if that's the case because it is designed to work up close and a nice combination of short strikes with two hands that allow you also to let loose cover yourself and still gives you the reach advantage um, uh, of your power shot template. So the first one that we're going to uh, look at is, and again, I'd be, and I'm gonna ask that you tilt the camera down, please. I'm gonna ask that you tilt the camera down so that you can see that guys, I don't sacrifice much with this cane. Here it is, and I just go from here to here. That's all I want, I, I just want to see how quickly I bring this up. Now, with just a flick of my wrist, I expose that palm rest or um, personal protection extension, right? In, in, in here, with just by just doing this. And so we're gonna work from here. This is the, the movement coming up. Notice that when I do this and I come down, so if my first movement is here, it's, there's only three steps to it, right? Here's one where you're striking and knocking down the shot that's coming in, Two, as you step, transition to your hand and come in with a number five power shot. So it's very tight, always in your guard zone. Uh, here it is, you're dealing, here's my one, here's my two. Now I get to choose, do I want to use this, which is essentially a, a, a hammer. Look at how blunt that is. I get to step out and then come right back. The actual application, of course, exerting maximum. Um, uh, control here, and I'll break it down. We're gonna go real slow. This is bam, there's the, there's the shot that knocks this down. There's a, a tendency to wanna come up here, and you may very well uh, do that. What I chose to do is turn it around, and where I'm striking is shin and knee with this, right, with that, with that edge. So from here, bam, high-low, concept of high-low, come right back and crack. Now, again, here I have the option. I came back out, this is, you're hammering. And so we're just having the conversation, hey, what if you whack somebody in the back of the head with that? Well, yeah, you're responsible for that and only you can decide if it warrants that. But the clavicle, right, everything here, right, all this bony area, see how he just flinches, um, obviously step back a little bit. What you're looking at, oh, right, is to really go through with that. I'm gonna give you the bonus to each one of these. And in the American uh, King Boxing curriculum, it's not a bonus. It's the way ACSD has always done it. I also show you the empty hand uh, application of that. And uh, something, so, something like that, your, your walkthrough on that is to deflect, to knock this down, right? And you're going to use your leg. We don't have a lot of kicks in American cane boxing. Um, we go from here, right? And anybody, you ask, can you do this, right? Um, to take that shin 
kind of like a bit of a, of a cutting kick that stops the motion so that uh, when he comes in, boom, there's, there's, there's the shot. So we're going to knock this down. Here, here's a strike. And here you follow up with that hammer fist, right? So if we do this in one motion, it looks like this and coming right back down to strike. So it's already built in. Let's take a look at it. If we're uh, dealing now with a strike that's coming towards um, towards a, a roundhouse punch, right? So somebody who's here and, and they're coming to the outside. Again, you're going from here say, man, listen, I, I don't want any trouble, right? And, and you're holding this. The open palm kind of says, I don't want, I don't want any trouble. It's just very comfortable to go from here to here, right? And it's very, it's very unassuming to be here. Listen, man, you're, you're right. You're absolutely right. And, but the cane always preceding, right? Here you go. This is your stance. When that strike comes in, it's a very simple motion that comes from here to here, and now you can exit on the way out. So if you can do this motion, right, with that strike, notice that now it's that palm rest extensor that's going to take out the limb. So in application, when you're coming, you're knocking this down, striking to the top, and on your way out, taking out that limb so it looks this way, right? This is what you're doing with two hands. Bam, and removing. So here, here, and do you have to switch over? You don't. Take that same hand, right? Use your cover hand. Knock it down, take it, boom, on my way out. Here I am covered to take that out. What does it look like if I'm doing this? My, my, my walkthrough now is to knock it down, strike with the elbow, and take that leg down and sweep. It's a, it's a sweeping motion, right? So that when I do this, right, all I do is go from here to here and take it. Can, I, can you live without that? You can, right? And, and we give you variations on that, but look at how easy that elbow runs into that, right? Look at how easy he goes right into that, and you're still not in a position, boom, where all this is checked. If he goes to move in there, he goes to throw a punch, he goes to do anything, everything is checked in here. Now that front foot, right? He comes in, bang, there, there it is. Take that, right, on the way out as you're walking out. And then the last, that, um, well, we're human and our timing may be off and he just ambushes and does this. Guys, the majority of the population is right-handed. So when you do this, right, look at how easy it is and it doesn't matter anymore uh, because that palm, uh, that palm rest changes the rule a little bit where the horn doesn't always have to be now away from you. Even if I were holding it here, a standard grip and I come up when he does this see it's so comfortable to do this now both hands are trapped here I am by design coming to the eyes and the palm rest remember wood on bone hurts it's right over ah see what happens there so boom there's the strike and what I do is turn over and on those fingers now right you can go to town with that and now you're controlling here right and he doesn't have military haircut, so what am I gonna do? Instead, I go to the eyes, right? But it's a very simple, if we're gonna do a walkthrough of that, if you can do this motion, right? This motion right here, if you can do this, you can do the application. You see how comfortable it is. The other issue is that he, he goes to grab the cane. Yeah, yeah, that, that's not gonna work. And that's how you're taking out the eyes. And of course, with the empty hand, it's pretty much, the same, I come here, I step out, there's my eye rate. I do this. If he lets go of one hand, because I have that right hand, now you're forcing him to go with that left hand. Now, I, I still don't wanna be there for that, right? So how do I get the response here? Is by using my knuckles, right, as well. Um, and don't forget this, don't forget the eyes are coming in. There's my lock, this is a joint lock, come up. And again, if you're watching this for the first time, you don't see how this works. There's a lot of little detail that's going here that we cover. Notice that just the weight of my arm, get up, does that for you, right? There's a lot of alignment. There's a lot of things going on. You're saying, well, how do I go from there? How do I, I, I break this off? Where there's the eye rate that we like, right? To disengage and get out and escape. So just a, a glimpse of some of the material that gets covered there with um, the American King Boxing and how this um, unique tool, how comfortable it is to work things from here, be able to move in and out 
uh, without it being cumbersome. <laughs> it's just a treat to maneuver. Hey, you're watching this, uh, maybe you've been watching it for a while, or, or maybe this is the first time that you see it and you say, I'm interested in that curriculum. Uh, what's my first step? What's my next step? Where do I go? Hey, I'm an instructor. How do I avail myself of that? The curriculum, this curriculum in particular, is going to, uh, we're having everything ready for you by the end of the year. So uh, I think holidays here, a nice uh, gift, the gift of personal protection. But right now, you can go ahead and text the letters CCC for Kane Clarity Call. Let's jump on a call. Let's discuss where you are right now, what you can do right now that will set you up uh, for this course. How do we get started now? What's the, what's the plan? What if you're an instructor and you're headed towards uh, 2021 and you say, hey, I, I, I need a curriculum, I need a way um, to guide my, my students there um, with, with the finest training available, then let's have a conversation about that. But here's the bottom line. When you walk out of there, you're gonna have a plan, a strategy, and a blueprint, and it's at no cost. It's part of the service that we offer. And again, you do that by texting CCC to 305-745-7839. I'm Joe Robina for American Cane Self-Defense and the new American Cane Boxing Curriculum. Keep watching, keep caning, stay safe.